right here. Ethan, you came up uh, limping. How are you feeling? Yeah. Feeling all right. I mean, kind of was battling an ankle injury, and that's probably why I have my ankle spasmed. But I'm fine. I just took a little extra precaution. Coach is wanted too, so yeah, I'm all right. I'll be fine. Yes. Did you try to come back into the game, and that was just the coaches just saying, you know, hold off? I mean, I just tried to run the um, warm up on the field, and then Coach Neal said he didn't need me, so I mean, that's all right. really up to you. I feel like the guys did that replaced you. I mean, I thought they did a great job. I mean, they were out there, played confident, and I mean, a lot of young guys got to make plays. Juwan made a nice sack at the end of the game. Tyree got to play a lot of snaps. Reggie got to play almost the whole game, so I mean. A lot of guys got to play a lot of reps. That's a good thing. Ifo, it's easy, easy to nitpick on a 62 to 13 win here, but uh, a little bit of missed tackles, and they actually got you through the air a little bit and on the ground with some big gains. Uh, how overall did you guys do, and what do you need to do better? Um, overall, I mean, I don't think we played that great as a defense, but I mean, definitely felt like we were definitely trying to keep them underneath, they're throwing a lot of shorter routes. I mean, you pretty much can't really cover a, a five yard that's going to be open and cover three. So, I mean, I mean, they had a good game plan. They were trying to limit their quarterback from having to make those tight throws. And I mean, they did a good job with that. But overall, the defense, I mean, I feel we can play a lot better and I'm sure we'll play a lot better next game. And, and Helfrich did say that we, did, we didn't present a lot of what we have defensively in this game. Oh, definitely. I mean, I feel like it was a pretty basic I'd have to say, but I mean, for young guys, I mean, sometimes that's enough to get them through the game. You don't want to put too much on in the first game, have them have to adjust to everything that we have in our playbook, rather than just put out a little bit of stuff out there and give them an opportunity to play as fast as they can. Tom? People, you mentioned the next game, and, and obviously you guys are going to have to maybe shore some things up, but can you tell us exactly how you feel about the match? I mean, honestly, I can't really say. I haven't watched them on film yet. I mean, I was paying attention to South Dakota, so I mean, after today, we're gonna look at the film on Michigan State, and I'm sure we'll know by Monday. Did you feel there was a difference between South Dakota tonight and maybe some of the other teams you played in the past, Pac-12 teams? Um, a difference as in what do you mean by that? Level of athleticism, all those kinds of things. I mean. I feel like they had, I mean, they had decent players. I mean, they were pretty athletic for being a team that wasn't really well-known. I mean, I thought they played pretty tough, and they played hard every play, so, I mean, that's the biggest thing. Right? As you go into halftime, if you don't feel like you guys played your best defense in the first half, is there a sense of disappointment in the locker room, or how would you describe kind of the atmosphere? I don't think it's a sense of disappointment. It's a sense of just picking other guys up and trying to play to what our level is rather than playing down to what you think you did or not playing your best game. I mean... I'm sure a lot of guys probably didn't think they played their best game today, but at the same time, that's why you get 12 of them, 13 of them, you get an opportunity to play your next best game, your next game. Matt? I feel like you did in the return game. I mean, we didn't really have too much open on the return game when I was out there, but I mean, did the best I could to start, but I mean, I'm sure we'll do a lot better next week. I mean, we've always been a great special teams team, so I'm sure something Coach Oz will emphasize. Jake, having uh, Coach Pelham for the first game, how does his style differ from uh, the previous season? I can't really say. I mean, he didn't really run too much, so I can't really say how much different he really is. But, I mean, he's a aggressive, wants to attack the offense and keep him off balance. But Coach Alioli, I can say, definitely likes to run a lot more man coverage to start the game. <laughs> One more for Rafael, anyone? Thanks, Ethel.